Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 2 of 9. For this lecture, we will discuss subtopic 5.1 functions. Learning outcomes for this lecture are sketching graph and find domain and range for cert and absolute value function. For set function, let's look how to sketch the graph. We have three steps. First, find the domain. Second, find two points in the domain. And the third one is sketch curve that passes through these points. For this graph, fx equals to set ax plus b. For this one, the symbol in front of the set is positive. The graph will increase and go to the infinity. So if the function is positive, the graph is increased. And we can find the domain for the function by taking the value inside set and write it as always greater than zero. So that's why your graph is on the right. Okay, on the right. We can write the domain as 0 to infinity. 0 is close bracket. And the range is from 0 to infinity. Range is the value of y. So it starts from 0 until infinity. Let's look for the second one. The second one is fx equals to negative set ax plus b. The symbol is negative. So the graph will decrease. For this shape, it is for function fx equals to negative set x. Okay, negative set x. How we want to find the domain is also the same as previous graph. Okay, take the value inside set. It's always, it's always x greater than equals to 0. So it's the difference between this graph and the previous graph. This graph is decrease and below the x-axis. The domain is still the same, x greater than equals to zero or zero to infinity. Okay, how about the range? The range is start from negative infinity and it stop at y equals to zero. Range is negative infinity to zero. For example 1, find the domain and range for fx equals to 2 plus z x minus 1 and sketch the graph. We have three steps. First, we want to find the domain. How we can find it? We take x minus 1 greater than equals to 0 and x greater than equals to 1. Uh, so the domain is starting from 1 to infinity. Then we want to find two points in the domain. So we can choose the first one. Is the value that you get it from the first step. So when x equals to 1, what is your y? So 2 plus 1 minus 1. So y equals to 2 plus 0 is 2. This is the first point. 1, 2. The second one, you take the value greater than 0. So you can choose, let's say, 2. Okay, you cannot choose 0, for example, because it's outside the domain. So y equals 2, 2 plus 2 minus 1. So 2 plus 1 is equals to 3. Uh, the second point is 2, 3. Uh, now we want to sketch the curve, draw the axis, and plot the point. 1, 2, we can call it starting point. Okay, the graph will start from here. And because the, the set is positive in the front, so the graph is increased. What is the domain and range? 
the domain is start from 1 to infinity. Okay, we already find it from the first step. And the range is starting from 2 to infinity. Example 2. Find the domain and range for fx equals to 3 minus 2 minus x and sketch its graph. For the first step, we want to find the domain. We take 2 minus x. Okay, always positive. Use the property of inequality. Divide both sides with negative, so you have to change the symbol. So the domain is less than or equals to 2. Less than, that means your domain is start from negative infinity and stop at 2. Find two points in domain. When x equals to 2, your y is equals to 3 minus 2 minus 2. Calculate the value. y equals to 3 minus 0 equals to 3. We got the, the first point and actually this point is a starting point. Okay, let's find the second point. We can choose any value of x that include in the domain. Okay, less than equals to 2. So we can substitute x equals to 0. So this one actually y intercept. So when x equals to 0, your y is equals to 1.586. When y equals to 0, Okay, this is your x-intercept. x will be equals to negative 7. Yeah, so, we have another 2 point. D is y-intercept. And the next one is x-intercept. Draw the axis for the curve. D is the starting point. Remember, always draw your graph starting from this point and the, the other points is 1.586 and negative 7 x and y intercept. Draw the graph so we get the shape. What is the domain and range? So the domain we already find it from the first step, negative infinity until 2. For range, it step from below. The lowest values, the smallest value is starting from negative infinity and it stops at the starting point. So the value of y for starting point is 3. Your range should be negative infinity to 3.